Welcome to my lecture online. In this example, we're going to try to find the volume of a slice of a sphere. Notice that the radius of the sphere is equal to 4. The sphere is centered at the origin. And we're going to find the slice where the lower side of the slice is parallel to the xy plane, 2 units above the xy plane, and the top of the slice is 3 units above the xy plane. In order to calculate that volume, we need to know some reference angles. We need to know phi sub 2, the angle from the z-axis down to that line that connects the center to the edge of the circle where the bottom, where the bottom of the slice is, and the angle phi 3, which, is, which connects the line from the center to the edge of the circle where the top of the slice is. And before we can find phi 2 and phi 3, let's find alpha 2 and alpha 3. Notice that this height is 2. This would be the opposite side to the angle. This height is 3, the opposite side to the angle. So we can say that the sine of alpha 2 is equal to 2 over the hypotenuse, which is 4. And so the angle is equal to 30 degrees. And sine of alpha 3 is equal to 3 over 4, 4 again being the hypotenuse, opposite side over the hypotenuse. So the angle is equal to 48.59 degrees. Then in reference to the angle phi, we take 90 minus those angles, and we find the angle phi 2, which is the angle from the z-axis to, to this point right there, this side right there, that angle is phi 2, that's equal to 60 degrees, and phi 3 is equal to 41.41 degrees. So now we're ready to find the volume of that slice, because the volume of the slice will be the triple integral over dv, where dv is, of course, the volume element in spherical coordinates, and the limits are going to be from 0 to r, 0 to the radius of the sphere. For the angle theta, it's going to go all the way around, 360 degrees, from 0 to 2 pi. And for the angle phi, we're going to integrate from phi 3 to phi 2 to account for that slice right there. So by now, we understand that this is going to be equal to 2 thirds pi r cubed times the negative cosine of phi evaluated from phi 2 or from phi 3 to phi 2 from the lower limit to the upper limit the lower limit would be phi 3 the upper limit would be phi 2 and so you can see that this is equal to 2 thirds times pi r cubed times now for those who look at this video and go, where in the world did he get this from? Well, we've done already a few examples like this, so we know that we integrate from 0 to r over rho squared. We get rho cubed over 3, which gives us the r cubed over 3. And then when we integrate from 0 to 2 pi over the angle theta, we get the 2 pi. That's where the first two integrals give us the 2 thirds pi r cubed. And if you're wondering how that's done, you can go look at the other videos. And then finally, when we integrate over this last one, we take the integral of the sine of phi d phi, which gives us the minus the cosine of phi evaluated between the two angles. So this becomes minus the cosine of phi evaluated from phi 3, which is 41.41 degrees, to phi 2, which is 60 degrees. So this gives us 2 thirds pi r cubed, times, when we plug in the upper limit, we get minus the cosine of 60 degrees, minus a minus because it's plus the cosine of 41.41 degrees. And of course, if we go back over here, we realize that that will be equal to, well, let's see here. I'm not so sure we can do it that way. Let me quickly check. The cosine of 60 is 1 half. That's an easy one. So let's go ahead and plug that one in. So this is equal to 2 thirds pi r cubed times. And uh, the cosine of 60 is 1 half, so it would be minus 1 half plus and 41.41 degrees. Take the cosine of that. That would be 3 quarters. So that would be plus 3 quarters. All right. And then, of course, knowing that r is equal to 4, that would be 16 times 2, which is 32. So this gives us 32 over 3 pi times negative 0 
plus 0 0.75, which is basically a positive one quarter. So one quarter of that would be equal to 8 thirds pi. And that would then be the volume of that small slice from 2 to 3 of that particular sphere. And that's how it's done.